This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my sports to the bone family? Welcome to another video man Big up on yourself Before we go any further I just wanna say a shout out to a very good subscriber of mine Mr. Marlon Miller You know he's the one that brought this to my attention Very early this morning So I said that you know as soon as I get some time I have to cover it so before me I have an article here that was written and published by the ESPN Creek Info I am actually on the ESPN Creek Info website right where they are talking about a former West Indies batting superstar that has been charged for some corruption business right nothing has been proven as yet so we don't want to go ahead and call a man name right and we all know how this person is so I don't want to call a man name Zane you know, just to protect myself and the channel, we're not going to call him name. So let us um, let us refer to him as the manual or the icon. Zin the manual. No, usually I just read synopsis or just do a review of the article, but I am going to read this one in its entirety. So just bear with me, my viewers and subscribers, as I go through this one, right? So as we said, the article written and published by the ESPN Creek Info, and it says that the manual, the architect of West Indies. Uh, T20 World Cup triumph in 2012 and 2016 has been charged by the ICC anti-corruption unit on four counts of breaching the Emirates Cricket Board's anti-corruption code so four counts my viewers and subscribers he has been charged for four counts right and it goes on to say in a media statement on Wednesday the ICC said the charges related to the T10 tournament conducted by the ECB and we know the ECB is what already right it goes on to say that the manual has been charged for for the following counts so these are the four counts that he has been charged a you say article 2.42 failing to disclose to the designated anti-corruption official right um, the receipt of any gift payment or hospitality or other benefit that was made or given in circumstances that could bring the participant or the sport of cricket into disrepute so that is the first one the second one says article 2.43 failing to disclose to the designated anti-corruption official you know receipt received of any hospitality with a value of US 750 um, dollars or more right and the next one says article 2.46 failing to cooperate with the designated anti-corruption officials or investigation right and the final one says under article 2.47 obstructing or delaying this designated anti-corruption officials investigation by concealing information that may have been relevant to the investigation so those are the four counts are under the four um, thing that he has been charged right and it goes on to say that the manual has 14 days from september 21 to respond to the charges so i guess because the information was put out on the 21 of september you know um you will have 21 days after this to really respond to the charges right so i'm going to be reading some statements that was given out by CWI and we are, I know that you are all following me so far when I say the manual or the icon we all know who I'm talking about just don't want to go ahead and call a man name and he's not proven to be he's not proven guilty as yet Zane? no let me continue reading the article CWI, ha, um, CWI responded to the charges against the manual stating it was um, firm in denoun denouncing any such activities within the sport so they are distancing, distancing themselves right they are removing themselves from anywhere close to the matter letting the people know that here what if anything of the sort has happened they don't want to have anything to do with it right cricket um it goes on to say cricket west indies has been made aware of the charges which have been laid which have been laid by the ICC anti-corruption unit involving former West Indies player the batting manual and it said the statement said formal charges have been laid with breaching four counts of Emirates cricket board's anti-corruption code for participants of uh, T10 league in the Abu Dhabi 
T10 in 2019, right? And the next paragraph says that while CWI has yet to receive the detailed information relating to the ICC investigation, CWI remains firm in denouncing any such activities within the sport and fully supports the ICC anti-corruption unit in their efforts to rid the sport of all forms of corruption so ICC you know reaching out to 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 to, the, to CWI and they are making their 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 position known it goes on to say the article goes on to say um the batting manual who is 40 announced his retirement last year after a career in which he played you know and they go ahead to just remind us of what his career was like and i'll just go ahead and read it for you guys right in which he played 71 tests 207 odis uh 67 t20 international and you know they said that his west indies debut came in 2000 in the year 2000 and he has scored over 11,000 international runs and 17, century, 17 centuries, right? And he said, while his record suggested he never made the most of um, his sum to us talent, you know, it just it, it goes to show that, you know, he, 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 he was a spectacular player and most notable came um, when he top scored in the T20 World Cup finals in 2012 and 2016. Right, just to finish off, the, the, the last paragraph says that he was no stranger, he is no stranger to controversy during his career. And you know, the lowest point of which came back when he when he got a ban of two years after being found guilty in 2008 of receiving money or benefit or other reward that could bring him or the game of cricket into disrepute. And he said last month, um, the batting manual. You know, became uh, the 19 Jamaican cricketers to feature on the mural. So down there at Sabina Park, I would have, I would have showed you guys, you know, a, a mural that they are putting up down there on the wall with different um, players out of Jamaica that would have represented Jamaica well and would have represented West Indies. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. The batting manual being charged underneath the ICC code of conduct, where as it regards to corruption and all of that. And the four counts failing to 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 failing to to work with the with the designated persons, failing to disclose or to 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 show um, goodies that you would have received and things like that. And uh, I think in that 2019, in that Abu Dhabi T10, he was signed by one of those teams, but he didn't actually play any game. So he was signed but didn't play any game. You understand? So I I don't know how all this thing come to be, you know, but where the batting manual seems to be under some sort of pressure and once again for those who are not sure who we are talking about if you are not sure who we are talking about then it simply means that this information wouldn't be too much relevant to you right because if you are if you are cricket oriented then from once i said the batting manual or the icon you know the self-proclaimed icon you would know exactly what i'm talking about but it would be a shame though my viewers and subscribers if this is proven to be truth you know, they say, they say that one time is a mistake, two time is out of naivety, and the third time, you know, start to become practice. You understand? So if you, if you get caught one or two times doing the same thing, then you might get you might, you might get away. But if the third time come, then they might say that boy, the third time, you know, start to become too much of a practice or too much common, you know, like the say, boy, it's a bit common. But as we say that, we, we, won't, we won't go ahead and cast any judgment as yet. You understand, but just for his for, for the man who has name to be associated with something like this, you know, it doesn't spell good. We know that he's retired, that even make it worse. He's retired and his name is tangled up in these sort of things. But we we, we we're going to give him time. We're going to give him time. We're going to wait until until everything is is proven to then then we'll go ahead and, and give us give exactly what we want to see about it because you can accuse a man for something you know but until it is proven a man you can't really knock a man you understand right now i can be seated here just finish just finish on my work online and all of a sudden you hear say boy johnson did, did this or johnson did that right doesn't necessarily mean that i did it right so they can charge him they can bring him up but you know we have to wait until 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 
until the, the, the thing is proven or whatever. As they say, he has 21 days to really, to really, um, to really answer. But until then, I won't really go ahead and say anything much. You know, a couple of the subscribers reached out to me and said that, you know, I need to try and see if I can cover it as much as how it is a tickle, ticklish situation. Um, once again, shout out to Marlon. Uh, Contact 20 also reached out to me and said that, boy, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ticklish topic, but I still need to cover it and, you know, let the fans know what is happening. So I'm not going to go any deeper within it, um, any deeper in it, guys. I just pull out the tablet gave you the information what is there on the ESPN Crick, Crick Info website you know I also left out the name left out the name so once you can fill in the blanks you will know exactly what, what, what is there to be said but until he is proven guilty you know I will reserve my comment until then just wanted to share that aspect of it with you guys gonna leave this one right here for now Zin sports to the bone keeping you informed remember to like and share subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed Zin big up on yourself I'm out